Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina and I'm a full-time reseller and today I am going out looking for things to resell at a townwide or community yard sale. I'm not really sure if this is just one specific development or if it's like the whole town. I really, I, I've been here before but I not remember for some reason so just gonna go and see what we can find so let's go Yeah, I don't need funnel cake. <laughs> Little lipstick samples, these are so cute. Look how little they are. Okay. Do you know if the tree? Oops. It's a good There's in here too. This thing's heavy. Do you know if the tree works? <coughs> it does? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if I let's see if I find anything here. all in one. I need them to be separate. So that's not going to help me.
these are actually pretty cool. Halloween. serious mold on it. Mm-hmm. Two dollars! Two! Okay, well... Let's see here. Oyster plates. Maybe this one's really cracked. So what we'll do is when we go to when we go out to Ohio and Kentucky, we will take them. Unless Nelson's going to master provisions first, we will take them and drop them. Okay. The coast is of where like they, I know they're very interested they like to have the, that's kind of a cool Starbucks uh, mug they like to have those I probably have the school library I'm gonna sell them to see what they already have there's just bags sitting here we can put those in yeah, we'll help ourselves out. Yeah, we'll That's a little bit bigger. That's a little bit larger. Kind of cool. Someone made lamps out of gin bottles. Twenty-five cents a piece. Thank you. Buy for a dollar. Right, right. How much is the mug? Uh, Do not microwave, hand wash only. <laughs> Starbucks, it's an official Starbucks mug. Got 50 cents on it. 50 cents, all right. Thank you. Yeah, right, Mom? Well, I'm going to get this mug. What is it? Oh, yeah. I don't know what that is. Just gonna go pay for this.
अपने over here. Yep. How much are these? Aww. How much are these plates? Okay, I'll take them. And then, um, how about this this set right here with the two mugs and the plate? I just got them. What do you want, Louie, for this? She said $2. $2 for this. this is for that? Where'd she get that stuff? On the tarp here. That is still a bag for a dollar on the tarp. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I don't really want anything but this, so. All right, I'm going to keep looking around over here. Alright guys, so let's get into another haul here. My iced coffee going. <laughs> mm, so good. Alright, so this town was a little rough. Definitely a little rough. And I could not remember, after all these years of going, you think I would remember. But I couldn't remember if this was one town I was thinking of or if it was another. And it turned out that it was one that isn't so great. But I still managed to find a few things because don't I always? Uh, but I don't know if I'll go next year. I honestly think that I'll probably pass. And it's actually really good that I'm doing these videos now because it's a great way to document for myself <laughs> which towns are good and which towns I should really avoid in the future. So let's get into the haul let's get into what i bought all right so i picked this up this is a disney collection by lauren conrad this was put out a few years ago uh pretty popular collection this one needs to be washed up let me throw this in the wash it's got some deodorant marks in the pit area and everything but i paid a dollar for it it is rayon i think it may have shrunk a little bit in the past I mean it is a small but I'll note all of that in the listing uh, I picked up a Brita on tap faucet filter for a dollar this is new in the package I have not looked this up but I figure for a dollar I'm sure that it's gonna be worth more than that I picked up a purse pouch for a dollar. This I am going to attempt to put in my car because my bag, I just kind of put it on the center console thing and it's always flying forward. Now, if no one's in the front seat, I just put it on the seat. But, you know, a lot of times either, you know, I have one of my daughters there or my mom or something like that. So 
I am going to try this out for myself. I remember seeing this on, I don't know if it was Shark Tank a couple years ago, uh, but I saw it somewhere and I was like, oh, good idea. So I'm going to try that out. Do any of you have one of those purse pouches? If you do, let me know if it works for you. All right, so then I picked up these bowls, all of them for 50 cents. No. Again. Another, another day with the weed whacker. And I'm pretty sure he was just out there weed whacking yesterday. It's the same guy. <laughs> I just, I don't even know. Okay. And I figured I'd get out here earlier, so maybe it would still be quiet. I don't know. It's like, okay guys, Tina's filming a video. Let's we whack our yard. I just, I can't even get over this. This is pretty loud. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> so back to the bowls here. I picked up these four tabletops unlimited Taurus pattern bowls. They have a checkered print inside. They're actually kind of a little textured too. They're kind of neat. Uh, I'm going to look this pattern up and see how it does. I will probably sell them, but I do need bowls for myself, but I don't think these are going to be the bowls. I think these are going to get, I think these are going to get listed. All right. So then this I did pick up for myself. Uh, I'm going to put this out during Christmas. You guys remember, uh, well, if you've been watching my videos, I said that I'm going to try to pick up my Christmas items now so I don't have to do it in December when prices are crazy so um and I don't really like to think about Christmas in July <laughs> or June or May or or I don't know but anyhow <laughs> I know that I have to do this stuff so look at this guy isn't he adorable now I don't have a doxy but I just love those short little legs. I, my dog, Max, he's uh, part Jack Russell, part pug, but he's got really short legs. Uh, he almost has like kind of corgi legs and it's just so cute. I just, I just can't resist a little dog with short legs. So I just thought this is going to be adorable and I just love dogs. I actually have a, um, actually, no, I threw it out. I had a white dog that I put in the yard for the past couple years and it was like a um oh, what are they called my neighbor not a not a Scotty uh Westie my neighbor has like four of them uh my neighbor down the street anyway it was like a Westie dog but it's a dog and I love dogs so I had that out in the yard and then last year Bernie peed on it so many times <laughs> <laughs> it was so yellow by the end of December. So I just like threw it out because it just, it wasn't going to come clean anytime soon. So anyhow, picked this up for myself. Oh, and I paid, I paid $5. So, I mean, it's originally like 20. So I got a deal. All right. Let's see here. Now I also picked, I picked these up. I showed this in the video, I believe. Uh, Come dream with me. Now I've never heard of this brand. It's kind of artsy though, and I like it. So I picked up the two mugs. This one has like really cool fish. Look at that fish. <laughs> the fish lips. Look how cute that is. Uh, so yeah, and this one looks like, um, this one looks like starfish on here. So I did pick up, I picked up the plate and I'm trying to figure out, I don't know what that is. What the heck is that? I'm like, no, <laughs> oh, maybe it goes like that. I don't know. It's not making like any sense to me, no matter which way I turn it. What is this? Am I just not like seeing it? I don't know. So I will have to look those up still. Uh, I picked up this set of 
four ceramic dessert plates. It's by the artist Susan Wingett. And these are for Cracker Barrel. So we'll see how these do. They're kind of pretty. Um, I don't think I'm gonna sell them with the box though. I think I'm gonna sell them without the box because the box has the price on it and I'm gonna sell them for more than they were sold for originally because I think they're worth it. And they're probably not made anymore, which makes them more valuable. I've done that. Have you guys ever done that? Have you ever sold something for more than it was originally sold for? I've done that several times. I mean, of course, like when something's collectible and it's not made, I mean, the higher the desire, the higher the price, right? Supply and demand. Okay. So then I picked up a bunch of these. Oh, not a bunch. I picked up three, three Scentsy Warmers. Some of these do okay. This is one of the newer ones where it's not, um, it's not a bulb. It's just a warmer, like an electric warmer on the bottom. No bulb needed. You put the little wax melt in there and put the, put the lid on. Now these have not been used. I picked up, uh, like I said, I picked three up and she wanted, she wanted $7 a piece and I asked her if I bought more. She actually had two others. One she wanted 15 for though and the other one seven, but that one wasn't a real, I didn't feel like it would have been like a real good seller just because it was kind of plain. I like to pick up the ones that have a nice design or a nice theme, uh, something like that. So she wanted seven a piece and she ended up you know, give, I can't get this lid back on. She ended up giving me them, giving them to me for $17. So I picked that one up. This one is comfy cozy. This is kind of cute. This is like a sweater, like a sweater, like a cable knit sweater pattern, I like a button up. And I thought that was really cute for, you know, fall or winter sweater weather this one has not been used either she may have been a consultant at one point is what I'm thinking or maybe she just liked to buy these and then the last one is um, I'm not gonna probably get him out but the last one is uh, Tom turkey and that'll be really good for Thanksgiving I did look that one up after I got home and it doesn't seem to be selling for a whole lot right now but I'm gonna price mine higher and I'm gonna let it sit uh, until around that time, people are gonna pay more for it. And I don't mind if it sits for a while. That is the business model that I have for my store. I will, I don't care if it takes a year or two for certain items. Certain items do take a while, you know, you, you might need to wait for that right buyer. So I don't mind. I have a long tail business model. Okay, next item I got is, I thought this was kind of funny. This is a Cheech and Chong up in smoke nesting doll what like kind of strange but so this is um this is like from the movie up in smoke and you know it's like got, i think five different ones i'm not gonna go through all of them but it's like cheech and chong and their van and um so i thought that was kind of funny it's not in the packaging or anything and it's got a little tiny bit of ooh, little sorry about that a little tiny bit of wear but i just thought it was kind of neat Kind of unique i paid a dollar for that uh, i think i paid either 25 or 50 cents for this book uh and i'm gonna probably read this myself because i am a reader so when i can get a good deal on a book i take it and i love starbucks <laughs> i love coffee so i'm gonna give that a read at some point and i picked up this uh paparazzi set it's a uh, necklace and earrings and it was 50 cents so I decided to give that a shot oh let's see I think I'm about done I think I have oh I have a couple items left okay so I picked this up for a dollar this is a Kurt Adler magic growing tree I'm not sure what I'm going to get for this uh, I actually have to plug it in and make sure it works I did ask the lady she said it worked 
and everything else, but I am going to have to test it out myself. So for a dollar, I was willing to take that risk, but it's supposed to, like, it's small now, but it's supposed to grow into this, like, really, this, not really tall, but maybe, like, two, over two feet tall. And Kurt Adler Christmas stuff has always been a good seller for me, so I decided to give this a shot for a dollar. It is a little larger. I am still buying large things, even though the dimensional weight changes have taken effect. I still can't stop buying these large things. But I've noticed that my larger items are now going more FedEx. The buyers are choosing FedEx as opposed to the USPS because FedEx is a little cheaper. So, um, and a big item, okay, now next item I'll show you before I start talking about it. This right here. This is quite large, this bread box. Now something like this I think would do really well on Etsy, but on Etsy there's no FedEx option. So uh, I'm gonna put this on eBay. I'm gonna put this on eBay because we have that FedEx option over there. This I knew this was gonna be one of those stickers that's gonna be really hard to get off. But this was a dollar and it looks like it's got a little bit of discoloration. Doesn't it look like there was something like rectangular put right over it and then it's darker around the edges and I I don't think that that is how it was painted it really looks like it's got some weird fading or something but I think this would look really cute if it was repainted if someone purchased it that was you know handy with some spray paint which I'm not I have the vision but I don't have the actual like I can't spray paint <laughs> or I would. I mean, I probably could if I really put my mind to it and if I was really passionate about it, but I'm not, honestly, I'm not. Uh, because when I spray paint, there's like drips running down it and it's just like a hot mess. So I'll do the selling, people can do the buying and the repainting or whatever they wanna do. So anyway though, I do have the vision that this would look great repainted uh it could be the same color it could be an olive green it could be a turquoise that's like i don't know one of my favorites i've been running with lately i have all these ideas for things to be painted turquoise but i just think this is cool so anyway let me, let me stop rambling about this look inside it has what i believe is known as a pie shelf and there we go it was really high up there for a minute there we go so it looks like, I'm pretty sure that that's what that's called, a pie shelf. It's like kind of vented in the back to give everything some air. So I thought that was really cool. Now this is made by Pantry Queen. I think it even, no, I thought maybe it had a date in there, but it doesn't. Anyway, all in all, for a dollar, I think this is pretty awesome. So let's move on to the next item. I picked this up for 50 cents. It's another Starbucks mug. It's got like these like spikes on it. I just thought it was really cool. The lid has a little bit of discoloration like right here. It looks like some of the silver wore off or something, but I just liked it. It's a hardcore coffee mug right there. I picked this up for 50 cents. I don't know if this is, I don't know what this is. I don't think it would be a ring or jewelry holder because it would break off the little leaves. And I th I don't think it's broken. I did look over it. Sometimes I don't notice things, but it was made in Italy and I just thought it was kind of cute. Something like that's not gonna be a real big money maker, but just like this, I just really like this. This is a little stangle pottery flower, like a purple tulip it almost looks like. Maybe it's an iris, I don't know, but made by Stangle and I thought it was cute. I picked it up, 50 cents. All right, then I picked these up. These are Skechers, something else. I picked these up for a dollar. Haven't been finding many shoes this weekend. It's got some funk on the bottom. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna try to scrub that off. I didn't notice it, but it's right there too. These were a dollar. I figured I might be able to get like 15 out of them. I picked this up. This is Temptations. I think it might be like an egg 
server or something like that a baker i don't know i don't remember what this is even though i did sell this piece before in a different color i have to look that up again and see what that is all right then i picked these up for a dollar these are um eggshell nautilus i'm not really sure what the pattern is or the brand because i don't believe that nautilus is the brand but it could be i don't know I don't always pick up a lot of older dinnerware. I pick up a lot of newer, uh, or what I mean by newer is like, you know, 70s or above kind of. Um, but I decided to give these a try because some of the older dinnerware can do really, really well. Uh, and for a dollar, I figure I will, I will give those a chance. The final item I picked up it was, uh, I believe, the last sale I went to, and I don't think I filmed here at all, but uh, it was it was just, it was really, it was rough. It was slim pickings around this place, and it was probably, I went to at least 25 homes. Uh, so anyway, this guy had a box of these yard designs. Now these are uh, it's an interchangeable magnet for use with yard designs, metal wall plaque, and yard stakes. So these go on something like, like this. So whoever buys this has to already have that stake uh, because I'm only selling the magnet part. So anyway, he had a box of these. I asked him how much they were and he wanted $3 a piece. And he said, well, okay, how about if I buy like 10 of them? And he was like, okay, $2 a piece. And then I'm like, you know what? Just how, how much for the whole box? And he started counting them and he got to around 36 and he was just like, you know what? Just give me 45 for the whole box. There's more there. Like he didn't even count all of them. So I was like, okay, I'll do 45. So I put them in the car, I started counting them, and I got to like 50 before I stopped. And there were a couple more, so I think probably about 54, 55 maybe of these. So I ended up not even paying a dollar a piece, which is pretty awesome. Now these are not gonna sell for a crazy amount of money, but I will list them for $14.99 plus shipping. And that seems like pretty much what they've been selling for. The different ones and I have a lot of these I do have to go through all of them first and check for any duplicates and yeah and some of them have the numbers so they can be you know personalized with the address number some of them don't but like this one this is just this says welcome so there's no room for the number on these some of them some of them there isn't you know, there's different, there's Halloween ones and there's like all different kinds. So I like multiple quantity items like this. Sometimes it's just uh, easy to list, easy to store, easy to sell. These are not big. So yeah, I like, I like bulk buys when I can find them. All right, guys. So that's going to wrap up this haul. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so already, uh, hit that little bell button so you get notification every time I upload. And until next time, bye.